Oh, whoa, whoa, God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, good to see someone alive, man. Yeah, where, where did they come from? Uh, I don't. Them died? I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know which planet they're from, but they've taken Dex five to ten. So what are we gonna do? Thankfully, I got this. Hi, I'm Andrew, and in this week's video, we're looking at what might be one of the most unique airsoft guns ever featured on this channel, the G&G ESG B10 gas airsoft shotgun. The Evolution Shotgun Bullpup 10, also known as the ESG B10, or just ESG, is a fictional gas-powered semi-automatic magazine-fed bullpup select fire shotgun. What this mouthful means is that not only is it powered by an internal green gas tank like the Marie 870 system, but it also fires semi-auto like the Marie Saiga, uses standard M4 AEG magazines, and is a bullpup. Now those of you who have airsofted for a while might think this all sounds a lot like another bullpup airsoft shotgun shown a few years ago that was made by a certain airsoft company known for their grenades, who took everybody's pre-order money, went bankrupt, and then left us all with nothing. And you'd be right, but this ESG is better in that instead of two separate models firing five or 10 BBs per shot, this gun can switch between both fire modes and it costs half the price. So let's get to the external. Externally, the ESG B10 consists of a full metal upper receiver and a polymer lower receiver. Aesthetically, this is a completely fictional gun. There is no real version of the ESG, but it does have a lot of plausible looking parts that you will find on a real shotgun, like an ejection port, safety, charging handle, all wrapped in a gorgeous tactical sci-fi looking body, ideal for clearing out a spaceship full of aliens. So starting at the front, we have the aluminium handguard, which features ambidextrous QD front sling mounts and M-lock slots on the three and nine o'clock positions. Remove these two screws underneath and take off the grip cover and you also get a Picatinny rail on the bottom for even more accessories like foregrips. On the top is a lengthy top rail that has an indent along the middle over here with a fiber optic front sight to use as iron sights. But this rail is honestly placed too low to get a sight picture anyway, so you're better off fitting your own optics instead. The handguard itself can be removed by removing this push pin and then with a bit of force pulling the entire assembly off showing off a large bore outer barrel. Remove this to reveal a 14 mm CCW thread for lots of accessories. However, inside you actually see a really, really short inner barrel. Now, this is really unlike Tokyo Mori Tri shots, which have three inner barrels. Instead, this one fires all the rounds sequentially through a single inner barrel, which allows you to fire more shots per shot. Now moving over to the back and we get to where all the magic happens. Let's start off at the bottom over here. First is the gas port over here, used to insert green gas to fill the internal gas tank next to the rear QD sling mounts, just like you would a GBB's magazine. Preliminary tests show that you can basically get about three magazines worth of shots per gas refill, which is pretty nuts. Now in front of that is the magwell which is made to feed from standard M4 AEG type magazines. As well as the provided G&G magazines, we've tested this gun with numerous other M4 mags and found that almost all of them are compatible with only a few cheaper ones that sat just a little bit too low to feed reliably. The mag release is a conveniently placed and located ambidextrous paddle, which allows for quick switching, even for a bullpup. Now look above the magwell and pull this charging handle to reveal some random internal mechanisms. Now, where is the hop-up you might ask? There is none. Instead of a standard hop-up bucking, the only hop this gun has is a standard O-ring that spreads the BBs out in a random direction, increasing the spread of the rounds to saturate literally any corridor you may be clearing. This cosmetic charging handle itself though, does feature an ability to lock back, allowing you to slap it shut, which does look cool. Over to the middle here with the fire controls. Over here, you have the fire selector that goes from safe, 
five round shot and 10 round shots. Five rounds should be good enough for most situations. But you know, GNG does us all a favor by giving us the option for 10 rounds for more DACA. Now, being a bullpup, the trigger was always going to be a bit mushy. But the unique nature of this shotgun's firing mechanism means that the mushiness is especially so on this ESG. That being said, with sheer firepower alone, this thing delivers. I'll give it a pass. <laughs> and now for price. At just over 300 US dollars, the ESG B10 is an absolute steal for such a brand new innovative product that delivers such a huge amount of firepower. This is especially so as that similar unreleased shotgun from a few years back costed twice as much, did not have as many features, well, and never released anyway. And finally, the ESG B10 comes with a standard G&G M4 105 round mid-cap AEG magazine with the characteristic little follower on top to ensure that no BB gets wasted. So wow, this ESG B10 packs a whole load of firepower. But then again, how does it shoot? Let's head to the range and find out. And now for the range. Now, you may have noticed we didn't actually do a chrono for this shotgun. And that's because, to be completely frank, it would have been impossible to do a chrono with the equipment we got. You know, we've had some issues with chronoing shotguns in the past because our chronos only work with one BB going through the chrono. So this one, having 10 go through, wasn't going to register. Now, we could have tested it with just one BB going through, but that would have given an inaccurate reading anyway because the volume of gas used for 10 BBs would have been shot behind one, and that would have given an unrealistically high reading for this shotgun. So we're just gonna go and trust G&G's recommendations that this fires around 300 FPS. In addition, we've decided to attach a tracer unit to it just to see whether a tracer would work with this type of gun, being with all the BBs fired sequentially. So that's going to be interesting to find out. So anyway, let's get to it, shall we? We've got target 15 meters away, and our BBs are 0.28 gram tracer BBs. We ideally would use 0.2s, but past tests have shown that it's more than enough that this can handle. So let's get to it. All right, let's do this. Wow. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, um, suffice to say that if you want a place to clear entire rooms and corridors, this shotgun is 100% your go-to. That is the best performing room clearer I've ever shot out of any airsoft shotgun period, right? It functions, I mean, it fires just as many BBs as an APS shotgun, but fires it far more reliably. And from a mid-cap magazine. Uh, in terms of range though, I was actually surprised. I thought 0.28 gram BBs would have weighed it down over distance. But to be honest, the lack of a hop up meant that the spread of the BBs went up as well as down and across. So many BBs were heading right to the end of the 30 meter range as well, which was very impressive. Overall, I mean, yeah, the firepower, I mean, it's semi-automatic. Like this thing is going to pump out as many rounds as you can pull the trigger and you can do it really, really quickly. So in terms of CQB sites, this is going to be extremely competitive to all players out there. And yeah, ergonomically, it feels fine. Uh, you know, feels fine, everything's easy, it's a bullpup, you know. The bullpups often have like a bit of a weight issue when it comes to, you know, towards the rear. But the aluminium handguard does sort of balance things out, especially because the body here is mostly polymer. So the balance of this is, is, is quite decent. Look at that. That's quite impressive. Firepower-wise, though, I must note that despite this being a 120-round mid-cap, which you'd think for a shotgun is a huge amount of shots, being set on 10 rounds only gives you around 10 shots. 
So if you want to preserve ammo, go for the five rounds, you know, especially if you have a longer game and all that. But if you want to go absolutely nuts, go for the 10 rounds. Because even though this fires from M4 AEG magazines, it's not as many shots as you'd think. So do watch your ammo consumption while having an incredible time with this. So enough about that. Let's just go and see how well I did. All right, let's see this. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not going to do a shot grouping because the, the spread of this shotgun hit that target, that wall, and all the way to the rear as well. So, yeah, this basically has an incredible amount of firepower and you'll be cleaning rooms. No problem with this at all. It really is a joy to use. Now, some of you who are looking at the footage from behind me may have noticed that the the tracer unit didn't exactly work as one expected. And that a lot of that has to do with the, the style of the firing mechanism and also the tracer units themselves. Because a tracer unit flashes when one BB goes straight through. However, as this fires all the BB sequentially, it turns out that the tracer unit only flashed the first BB while it allowed the others through. This doesn't work on a Maruri tri shot because they flash all three BBs at the same time because they're coming out of three simultaneous barrels. So it is something to look at here. My tracer used over here was a Spitfire tracer because it was small enough to fit in. But maybe a company like Ace Tech might come out with a tracer that has a longer flash duration so that all 10 of your BBs can be flashed and creates an incredibly scary light show for you to go in. Aside from that, like the shotgun is very impressive. You'd be clearing entire corridors. If you come across an entire crowd of people, you're going to wipe them all out in one go. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. Your opponents might be a little annoyed, but hey, they're not the ones with the shotgun. You are, and why not? <laughs> so yeah, I really, really like this. It is, it looks great. It looks like a real sort of sci-fi weapon that you go and fight aliens with, you know? It's, it's really fun. So yeah, on that very, very high note, let's just head back to the studio. And we're back. At this point, it shouldn't be surprising that the G&G ESG B10 is a complete beast of a shotgun that is definitely going to have a huge impact on your indoor fields. In terms of looks and function, the ESG is an entirely fictional shotgun, but even then, G&G has given it a solid tactical sci-fi looking externals. Any lack of realism is more than compensated by the fact they can reliably pump out 5 or 10 rounds per shot on semi-auto, making it one of the best performing airsoft shotguns out there. In addition, the usage of M4 AEG magazines means you'll have a gigantic amount of shots available between reloads, so you will absolutely be a beast in any CQB field, all for just 300 US dollars. All things taken into account, we give the G&G ESG B10 gas shotgun a very impressive 4.5 stars out of 5. There's a new king of CQB out there, and it's spitting BBs everywhere. So let's hand it over to you guys. What are your thoughts on the G&G ESG B10 shotgun? Let us know in the comments section below. And for these cool products and many more, visit us at www.redwolfairsoft.com. This is Andrew. Out.